Man is Pilot, and today we're gonna be doing a video on how you can overclock um, your laptop or PC. Uh, I'll test this by going to this website. Uh, I have the link in the description, but basically, you're gonna download this Intel suit. Basically, you're gonna download it. I accept. Okay, and it's it's gonna take maybe my internet is being slow today. Anyways, it's not gonna take a while to download, but anyways, once you have it downloaded and installed, it's, I think you're gonna restart your laptop or PC, and you can now open the suit. If it has not op already opened it for you automatically, so it's called Intel, what the hell, just to have a look. Okay, now, um, uh, when I watch some videos on how you guys can use this, um, some people don't have the same thing, um, but um, it's close. So it says get current benchmark score. So you're gonna test your PC right now. So I'm gonna click on the run benchmark and it's gonna test and we're gonna get a score here. And then we're gonna increase the clock and let's see if there's an increase in performance. Um, now you guys if you're gonna be doing this just for FSX, this is not gonna give you a big improvement here You might just get one FPS improvement, but you know one FPS That's that's you know, that's that's heaven if you get an increase at least in FSX or P3D um, So yeah, you just wait for that. It's gonna be stress testing your your laptop through all the cores so if we look at it on how many cores it's running right now. Anyways, I don't need to show you this actually. It's just shown right over here. And yeah, the temperatures are rising. Let me see if I have CPU ID installed. So I can show you the temperatures. Uh which I it won't let me oh my god the laptop is like being so slow right now. Okay. I guess we're gonna have to wait until this is done. Uh, I'm gonna be back when it's done. And yeah, guys, we're back, and it's 5.30 mark, so let's go ahead and overclock this to maximum. So, our core, like one core, is going to be up to 3.4 gigahertz, and our cache is going to be 3.6. So, technically, we're going to be getting 3.4, and theoretically, we're going to be getting 3.6. So let's go ahead and actually uh, apply this and let's watch our, yep, and we have reached already 3.4 gigahertz stable. Yeah, it's not showing right over here. What the hell? Ah, because, okay, I, I know why. It's something to do with the Windows 10, but this is the correct one. I'll get CPU ID later on to check if this is real. Run. And I'll be back when this And we're back guys and as you can see not a big improvement but you see the idea guys I got only a boost of 200 megahertz so that won't make a big difference but that's what my laptop max can do um so yeah uh I think I understand this right now um where if you have PC and it has a turbo boost up to for example 3.9 um, what you're doing is actually making it run the turbo boost all the time, like, even if you're just, um, just browsing the net or whatever. Um, so that's what I think it is actually doing. But for any, um, K editions out there for i7, for the desktop users, you guys can go up and beyond. I think you can go up to 5 gigahertz. Um, but, yeah, this is dangerous, guys, and you make sure you have the cooling system. I have a cooling pad under my laptop because it gets really hot. As you can see right now, temperature is at 83 degrees Celsius. Um, so yeah, guys, uh, peace out.